They're, they're, was it Bartomeu, the president, does not stop talking about life after Messi. They're clearly worried about I know, what's going on. I know they are. Not a second, I believe, that Mbappe is leaving Paris. And they Maybe won't. he wants to, but they're like, this guy was it? No, because that was on record one and a half years ago saying that Lukaku is the best Belgian player in the Premier League. <laughs> <laughs> Right, the club football season is over, so what better time to have a season review joined by Paddy and Nico. In the next few minutes, we're going to talk about all the different leagues, of course the Champions League final, and I'm going to get your opinion on a few key questions from the season. However, we will start with that Champions League final. Makes sense. What did you make of it? Did Liverpool deserve it? You can't argue against that, can you? I can. Yes, I will you argue. Can. You're I will of argue very, against yeah. Liverpool deserving. Very it. few people that okay, can. Overall, overall, they may have deserved a trophy. Yeah. After a good season. And under all, they don't. And under all, <laughs> the game. I don't. I thought Spurs were better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is that a word? No. Yeah, yeah. Under all. I, I mean, look. Spurs were better. That that early penalty clearly killed yeah. the game. Sure. Yeah, right? yeah. It was the worst thing that could happen yeah. for for a match, for an exciting match, but. For me, it was clearly a technical approach. Liverpool completely changed the technical approach after the early goal. It was yep. perfect for them. Mm. Yep. So clearly, they were like, look, guys, we're not going to risk anything here. So I get why you say that in this final game, mm -hmm. you were the better team, had more chances, but you had to because you were down after like 25 seconds. Exactly. Let's say yeah. this doesn't happen, then the entire, it's a completely different setup. It was a real sliding doors moment, you know, and yeah. then it was over the Spurs, like, you know, yeah. you're, you're playing now. What do you do? And unfortunately, they couldn't do it. Unfortunately for you, they couldn't do what they needed to do. It honestly, Honestly, is the most Spurs thing I've ever seen. You prepare three weeks for a match, and then 23 seconds in, <laughs> just... How was that moment in the stadium? Could you we, believe it? We all looked at each other and were like, yeah, typical Tottenham. There yeah. is no other club in European football who would do that. <laughs> who would just... God, it was so ridiculous. I have to congratulate Liverpool, though. Yeah. Overall, yeah. yeah more than Liverpool. Particularly, yeah. I feel like it's the start of a trophy era for Liverpool. Could very well be. Yep. Like... Yeah. The first one in the bag, something that Spurs could have done. But where do you think now for Spurs? I'm going to step out just from an outsider's point of view. Where now for Spurs? Is that the height and they're declining or is this the start? I mean, they could go the same approach at Liverpool. Liverpool did the, we reach a final. We're clearly good enough to reach a final here. So now let's add a few pieces and come back stronger next year. Um, as you told me, and you're my most reliable Liverpool, Liverpool uh, no, Tottenham source, yeah. which tells a lot. Um, <laughs> there is money there. And yeah. they, well, they haven't spent money for what? Like six and a half years or something. <laughs> so um, I guess they should attack a few different positions. For me, they clearly need at least one more winger, if not two. Um, yeah. Because playing out, Deli Ali out wide is just, like, that's useless. Yeah, or Ericsson. Uh, or Ericsson. Yeah. Like either, just like we talked this morning, like both of them want to play in the middle. Yeah. Um, none of them can play on the wing. So at least one or two wingers and just make that entire team a bit like a wider squad. Mm. Yeah. I would tend to agree. Uh, to be honest, I think. Spurs can be very happy they made the Champions League final. Yeah. When you look at the quality of the teams in the yeah. competition and the ones who didn't make it, it's I, would, I don't want to use that word lightly, but it's a bit of an overachievement for a club like Tottenham. It and is. what they've spent and where they've come from. Yeah. Now, it remains to be seen if they can maintain that level, mm. they will need to spend a lot of money. That's what Liverpool did, that's what they had to do to get yeah. to that point. And if Spurs want to do that, then they'll have to do the same. On the other hand, Tottenham came, like, got to that point without spending money whatsoever. So sure. they, they're somehow there. So technically it makes it an overachievement. Yeah. But, yeah, it begs the question, what if they spent loads of money? If they... They could be one year yeah. behind Liverpool. Ass just spend assuming, you assuming that they got that good, technically the yeah. second best team in Europe, in that competition at least, um, and I know it's just going to trigger yeah, a few technically, people. Technically, <laughs> technically, the second best team in Europe. Um, if they got to that point without spending money in the last one and a half years, and now they spend money, that you could see it as, as yeah. basically, well, obviously you're the best team in Europe next year, but... I feel like some of the big boys though can't go on being terrible forever. Correct. Like PSG and C. Yeah, yeah. And like even with Barcelona with a few, yeah. a few four years since they've won it. Yeah. And I don't know, man, Madrid with all the transfers yeah, coming true. in this uh, this uh, We're getting so We will get on to Madrid yeah. later. Yeah. Yeah. We will yeah. get on to them later. But very quickly on the Europa League final, because <laughs> we have to talk about it. It's a big European competition, apparently. It is. Um, for Chelsea, was it sort of anything more than a bit of a consolation prize? They already had Champions League football. It's nope. not a big prize nope. for them. Nope. And for Arsenal, it meant a lot, but nope. they didn't do it. Don't want to talk about Can it. Can we keep moving on? <laughs> okay, yeah. I don't want to talk about it. That's the Europa League for you. We'll move into one of the top five leagues now. First off, Serie A. Cristiano Ronaldo's first season. Success or not? 
Well, I mean, he's worst season statistically for some time. Yeah. Um, and that makes it sound bad. Yeah, it does make it sound <laughs> bad, but he was also still very good. But let's be clear that Juventus basically invested about 340 million euros into bringing Cristiano Ronaldo to the club. When you take into oh, no, yeah. account his transfer oh, okay. uh, value, a uh, transfer um, amount, sorry, and the wages they're going to mm. pay him for the extent of his club. It's not just for the season, of course, it's for the time he's going to be there. And you can say that they that didn't quite reach the level that they probably wanted. Allegri's gone now, there's going to be a new change, a new generation. I think it's still a, a good signing in the long run, um, certainly for their shares mm. and their bottom line it was a good thing. Um, but it really will be interesting to see how the new the new man comes in and how he handles Cristiano. I, I would tend to agree, but saying it's a good signing long term and he's 34 years old is a bit of a stretch maybe. Because yeah. I think we saw signs of slowing down for, for Cristiano, yes. yeah. especially in the league. In the, in, the, in the Champions League, he like especially against uh, Atleti for example, he clearly has shown what he, what he still can yes, do, and yep. if he's on his A-level, he's the one of the best out there. Yep. But I would say you could read his deadline in the league as a sign of, well, maybe uh, maybe we saw the best Ronaldo already. Maybe, yeah. So, Which would be okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I feel like it's almost a, a free hit, and I'm not even sure if it's successful. If he wasn't in that team, would they have just still won Syria anyway? Probably. They exactly. Yeah. So, I feel like he yeah. hasn't... He's not like dragging Real Madrid to European titles. No, fair he, goal, fair he goal. finished a few goals yeah. behind Quagliarella. Yeah, I think three or four. How old is Quagliarella? Like thirty-seven. Ah, he has a, so he has more experience. <laughs> yeah. 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 Ronaldo's got three good years left there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I feel like yeah, it wasn't really a success or an unsuccessful season. It fair was enough. kind of just what was expected. But that's what happens when you're the best. You can't win. You can either fail or meet expectations. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And that's right. it. Yeah. Some of the expectations was win the Champions League. They didn't win the Champions League. Correct. So from that standpoint, it was not a successful season for Juventus. Yeah. But if they win the next next year and Ronaldo scores 19 in the Champions League, we'd be like, well, so, was a good transfer. So out who's now? who's going to catch up with Juve? If supposing Nobody. anyone can. Napoli. Nobody. I can't see it. No, Inter are yeah. back, back in looking quite good. Yeah. I don't know if they're looking quite good. They just snuck into the Champions yeah. League. Yeah. And Still, there were some shoots of green there, just like there was for Milan a few weeks yeah. ago. And then they didn't end up making the Champions League either. So I think there's still a lot to be worked out on those Milan clubs. They're both linked to like big names. Yeah, that's Every what I mean. summer, most they're of them quite over, all, like Ronaldo, a bit old too. Um, but yeah, I don't know, man. I would love to see both Milan clubs be yep. good again. I think most yeah. people would. Yeah. Compete in Europe and in the league again, but I don't see it happen in, in this summer. Yeah. If, well, we don't know yet, right? Transfer windows yeah, just yeah, opened, so maybe they have crazy transfer windows, but I can't really see it right now. Yeah. Well, talking of Serie A and Cristiano Ronaldo, back to his former club, we're going to speak about Real Madrid. <laughs> We've got some big transfer news. So, hold on, two transfers today. Yeah. I'm being told. Yeah. Luka Jovic and Ferland Mendy? Mondi? Yeah. Ferland Mendy. How have you pronounced it? I would say Mondi. I've seen you yeah. get some sticks <laughs> for the way you pronounced it the other yeah, day. Yeah, no, actually. that was Zane, uh, no, but we'll get into that. Oh, okay. Time. <laughs> yeah. Ferland yeah. Mondi. We'll get to the Premier League in a minute. Yeah. So, Real Madrid have got both. Who's in a better position now? Let's forget this season, because it's done. Real Madrid or Barcelona? None of the, the new players, like Eden Hazard, is going to come to, and I think we all agree on Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Um, we don't actually agree on that, funnily enough. We do, we, yeah, we do now. Few yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, none of them has, have ever played for, for Real Madrid. Um, the future for Real Madrid is not really clear right now. We don't know what, they're gonna, what style of football they're going to play mm. with, uh, with Zidane being back uh, at the wheel. So for me, as the reigning champion of the Liga, without having any problems winning it, Barcelona is in a better position. Even though a few of their key men are getting older, Valverde question over him, and then they, that was embarrassing in the cup final against Valencia. That was embarrassing, but yeah, still a, yeah. No, I, look, I don't count that Messi, I will never do. You go yeah. for Barcelona. I'm a little on the fence on this one because I think that it's a big statement by Real Madrid to sign yeah, these massively. two players and with Hazard coming, but it's not like Barcelona are not going to be still active in the transfer market. They obviously already have mm. been active to get some early business in there. Uh, Valverde is my, is my big question mark as well, to be honest. If he can actually galvanise the group like he was meant to, then I think Barcelona can still probably oversee uh, or get, get over um, mm. Real Madrid. But I think that's the big question mark for me because we know Zidane can get Real Madrid going. Yeah. And now he has a better squad. Now there's a bit more confidence. They love having him there. Yeah. It's a real touch and go one for me. Yeah. For Luka Jovic, though, that's as a Frankfurt fan, like he in two years of being in Frankfurt, I have never heard him talk, speak a word of German. So Spanish is the same issue. Um, I would say I yeah. would be very surprised if he speaks yeah. fluent Spanish. Apparently, Benzema speaks in, no Spanish though. 
Oh, we had Gareth Bale. And, so, yeah, 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 definitely. But in Frankfurt, yeah. he had a group of like Serbian and Croatian players yeah. around him, and they yeah. helped him uh, translate yeah, right. and everything. He doesn't really have that. There's Luka Modric, of course, yeah, but he doesn't really have that in Madrid. So I see some risk with the transfer. Sure. And Luka Jovic is a player that gets frustrated if, it, if things yeah. aren't going his way. Yeah. And if he's off to a like start, a struggling start, I can see um, Real going, going like you know when yeah yeah. What we, how is that? <laughs> how do I sign that? Like if they don't spiraling, hit the ground running, spiraling yeah, down yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. even though those two teams were in a little bit of transition, and yeah, before you're going to say it, I think Madrid. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. I think Real, because they're making some big signings, and I think Barcelona are very, very wary that they're coming to the end of a cycle. Yeah. They're, they're, it was it Bartomeu, the president, does not stop talking about life after Messi. They're clearly worried about I know. what's going on. I know they are, but they're, they're, look, Real is at the, start of the start of a cycle now. Yeah. They're just starting really? something correct, new. Correct. And I would always... So let's say this is a younger up and coming yeah. team, even though Real is a really young team with like Motric and Hazard is like, what is he, 29? 28. Yeah. Yeah. 28. Um, I would all, always bet on the older team that has played together for, uh, for feats like 25 years yeah. and has, has Leo Messi. I'm going past that. Okay, that's very true. <laughs> Elsewhere in the league though, I would say if there's teams in transition, is it a missed opportunity for Atletico Madrid to get another La Liga title? I do. I, I, I feel, feel sorry for them. Yeah, I, I got a bad feeling. Their for them. best player wants to leave. It's going yeah. to be super tough with them, with the with the amount of money that both Barcelona and Real Madrid are or have already spent mm. this summer. Yeah. Atleti just can't compete with that, um, yeah. unfortunately. And as good as Simeone is, yeah. he had to rely on Griezmann for so many occasions. And with him gone, how can you replace him? I feel like that he's taken him as far as he can go, Simeone. Yeah. Yeah. He was linked yeah. to the Inter job, actually. Yeah, yeah. I, I was if, hoping for it. I wanted to go yeah. to Inter. But if Griezmann's leaving, Hernandez. Barcelona, yeah, Felipe yeah. Luis is leaving on a free. Yeah. Um, apparently Rodri's going to be leaving the midfield to Manchester the City. The team is in part Diego Costa's clearly, yeah. Dude, I think they the will have to spend massively. an insane amount of money mm. just to finish third in the league. Yeah. Just to become to come in third in the end. That's why I reckon they secretly want this Griezmann transfer. Just so they've got some funds. Yeah, yeah. And what yeah. They, they don't want to lose the best them. player, but they need... Yeah. I mean, to be fair, they did get 80 million from Bayern, didn't they? Yeah. For Hernandez, yeah. yeah, yeah. They did. Yeah. That's a fair whack for a defender. Yep. But... Moving on to the Bundesliga. Now, this is where I want to get your, your call on it. Who is the team to challenge Bayern? And I know you're going to say Dortmund. He's a Dortmund supporter. So, so I'm, I'm kind of hoping you'll go for Leipzig. Um, I'm, I have my personal problems with uh, yeah. Red Bull, so I'm still calling them Red Bull. You can't, you, can't, <laughs> you can't deny, though, that um, they're going to be a force, surely. Yes, they will, they will be. And um, the, we're at a point now where they just keep on getting these young players from yeah. their own talent pool and every single one they bring in is amazing. Yeah. Kunate probably has upate, uh, overtaken Upamecano, Upa, yeah. Upataken Upamecano, <laughs> um, as, as the best centre-back of, of Leipzig. And Upamecano still has the potential to be one of the best centre-backs yeah. in Europe. Yeah. So the, the potential on this team is absolutely insane. And they keep on bringing in young mm. players. But Dortmund, in this transfer window, they're clearly going for it. Yeah, Talk about sure. Real Madrid doing business. Yeah, 100%. Dortmund. But I think going back to Leipzig, and my problem with that is you can't keep buying youngsters and having them transition through the team. At some point you need a core yeah. of top players who are there and there for three to four seasons. Yeah. And I think squad-wise, they are super strong. They've got so many good kids. You just mentioned two of the names there. They've got plenty more as well. Yeah. But when are they going to have that nucleus of people and you say, okay, this is good enough to win the title? Yeah. I don't think they have that yet. It's just not a very appealing club for players to stay. Yeah. It's just like... Traditionally, there's so will, many bigger... Yeah. Even would, in the league. Would like you leave Leipzig to Dortmund? Yeah. Yeah, in, yeah, yeah I, I think so as well. You can't compare the clubs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's like... Yeah, there's... Like, it is, it is nice to be a Leipzig for a player, it's great. You have the chance to play Bundesliga yeah. at the top level. Yeah. You have the chance to win titles and yeah. win a cup final. The facility is incredible. Absolutely yeah, yeah, perfect, yeah, yeah. but it's always like... I'm going to side with Paddy. I think Dortmund. Yeah. I think Dortmund I have got... Anything I, think, else. I think Dortmund <laughs> have actually got a shade of Liverpool last season. Yeah. They identified what they needed. They looked at where they were potentially a bit weak and they went out and they bought three really good mm -hmm. signings for so cheap. Yeah. But now you need Van Dijk. Because for me, Dortmund needs another centre back. Yeah, and, and also I think the question mark is on Favre. He's a fantastic coach. He's never mm. really gone past that, you know, above average would be probably a bit too harsh on him, but you know that... Never he's never the gone last. that top class. Yeah. He's never gone that top class manager. Yeah. And you can see against certain teams in certain games yeah. last season, he didn't have the answers as yeah. a manager. And now it's great when you can bring on Brunt or you can bring on Hazard yeah. and they can change the game for you. Yeah. But I don't know if that's good enough over a season to challenge Bayern. 
Like yeah, we, like we I saw. would agree. Yeah. I would agree. Yeah. And Bayern, they, there is one big money transfer at least still in the yeah, hundred percent. Something yeah. is going to happen. Yeah. And yeah, if that works out well for Bayern, then they're probably going to be even further with, with Leroy yeah. Sane. Yeah. The domination continues. I, if I would have to bet money on, on a team, I yeah. would like the last fifteen years, I would bet on, on Bayern again. Yeah. Well, talking of domination, this is the league that I think gets unnecessary stick in League R. And I know everyone says Farmers League, but I just don't buy it because I think there's so Definitely many talented players. No, I like the league. There's so many talented players. players that are going to big clubs and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Farmers League, absolutely. And not even from PSG. Yeah. Incredible. Incredible, Incredible season for Lille, yeah. especially, yeah. their second. Yeah. What do we make of Mbappe, though, saying he needs to be challenged, he needs more responsibility? He's staying. Yeah, agreed. Not a second, I believe, that Mbappe is leaving Paris. And they Maybe won't. he wants to, but they're like, this guy's like, no. Do you think they're in it for the long run? You can't you can't stay in League R for like five, six years. No, not necessarily the long run, but at least the short term. I think they would, honestly, if they had their hand on their heart right now with everything that's going on, Mbappe is more valuable to PSG than Neymar. 100%. Yeah. 100%. For sure, yeah. for sure. But I also think he'd be more likely to leave. Not this season, though. Oh, not like, next season, yeah, yeah. Neymar was injured in the most important yeah. time of the season, the last two yeah. years that it was at PSG. Yeah, yeah. Mbappe has come to a level that we, that even knowing how great he was during the World Cup, he made another step this season for yeah. me. So yeah, he's absolutely. an absolute yeah. top five world-class player. Yeah. So they have two of the five best guys in the world right now. Yeah. They haven't had them both fit in the most important time mm -hmm. of the season. They're gonna give it another shot before they're selling it. It's scary when you think of Absolutely. what that could be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But then they still don't get past in the Champions League. They didn't have Neymar. Yeah, that's true. No, not a Neymar fan. But, but is, is he gonna stick around just for that league? This for at least one more season. Yeah, yeah agreed. Yeah. Yeah, okay, for one more. Yeah, yeah. I think the older he gets, though, his value just goes down, and that he's just not. Yeah. No one's. I mean, he's not like twenty-eight. You know. Yeah. He's well, twenty-seven. He, he's, 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 he's gonna be twenty-eight next year. He's not twenty-eight. He's not twenty-eight. I thought you were talking about Mbappe. Sorry. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, yeah. But that's the thing with Neymar. I feel like he is just gonna. He's gonna stay there in the longer run than Mbappe will, because I feel like no one will pay those stupid wages for Neymar. That is. That is a like. But Mbappe's more attractive. Especially this year. Which club could actually Correct. sign either of them? Correct. Who has the money? Yeah, especially if Hazard going to Real Madrid. Okay, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Nobody has the money anymore. Maybe, I don't know, like Manchester City and sometimes like, oh, oh, look what we found here. Maybe Just, Man United, but I mean, no one's going to go there. There's no Champions there, League. Nobody's going to sign for Yeah, that's yeah. very yeah. true. I mean, so, not those players at least. Yeah. And now that Real already spent, like, because we, we forgot that they have Ida Militao already signed, yeah. Yeah. Rodrigo already signed, that's yeah. 100 million for the two of them. Yeah, yeah. 60 yeah. for you, which what is um, Mondi? About 50, yeah. I think. So we're 200 to come. million. Hazard to come too. We're 200 million and we yeah. don't have Hazard yet. Yeah. Real has, like, they, they, they're on insane Unlimited spending. Money. There's yeah. no money. Yeah. Barca, like, I don't know. I can't yeah. see them spend, spend like I'm 150, sure. 200 million on that. But back to the French league. Mm -hmm. Sorry, we didn't yeah, get we, that. Yeah, we, we kind of went back into there. France. Yeah. Back into the French league. I actually feel quite much like with the, the rest of the teams in Bundesliga. Quite bad that some of them just get sold. And it almost helps the domination of PSG. The fact that loads of English and like Spanish teams buy the best players from Lille, Lyon have had a decent season, Marseille haven't quite been up there. Yeah. It just almost helps PSG in the long run as well. Yeah. Everyone's literally screwed. Absolutely. You either leave for PSG. It's a fucked up or, system. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty screwed. But I really want to see a team like PSG is the only team that can afford yeah. to Mon keep playing. Monaco tried, didn't work. Marseille tried, People didn't work. People do forget though that Monaco yeah. won 16, 17. Yeah. yeah. So it's yeah. only two, yeah. three years ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then it just got nearly yeah, relegated. It's not like the end of the world. I mean, I'm not having a pharmacy league business. These are the world champions. Totally as well. agree. Totally agree. These and are the world champions. It's the biggest talent pool. Yeah. It's, at this point, yeah. there are more talents than the Eredivisie for me. It's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Keep, French players keep on apparently. Like, mm. There must be, I don't know, like a factory somewhere for world class French players. Yeah. It's insane. But unfortunately, me. I think you're right. It's just going to be a yeah. cycle that really doesn't help anyone apart from PSG. Yeah. 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 I feel like the other ones in the Bundesliga do have more of a chance for Dortmund than that. Yeah. But you did mention it just there, the Eredivisie. Yeah. One of the, I feel like the lesser leagues is a bit harsh, but like in all honesty, yeah, it outside, has dropped. It has dropped quality. It has dropped massively, year. but that has not stopped Ajax. No. What happens when all their players go in the summer? Same thing they do every time. Mm -hmm. Rebuild, you know. Rebuild. But can they do it again? This is an exceptional the thing, class. There, the, there's there's the levels of Ajax, then there's this semi-final Champions League team. It's right, but th there is so much talent in the yeah. youth team already. Yeah. There's Ryan Ryan Gravenbeck, who the, the, who's like. 17 now and is supposed to be the most like it's a central midfielder yeah and according to everybody in the netherlands like frankie de jong is, is he's on another level than frankie de jong was at that <laughs> age yeah. and just hearing that is insane yeah so yeah it's gonna be a tough season for ajax don't expect them yeah. to your your 
<laughs> Jeremy's really? in somewhere. And yeah. don't don't forget for a minute that Ajax knows as much as they perform, the, the higher the chance are they going to yeah. lose their best players. They are prepared for this cycle every time. They are already bringing through these 16, 17 year olds, going to get a 13 year old yeah. from down the road at another club, the ones who are ready. They, they're just a recycling club, as sad as that sounds, yeah. but it's a fantastic feat what they accomplished yeah. and they're going to try and do that again, but through regeneration and constant regeneration. I feel like there's somewhere along the road they have to help the Eredivisie because if the Dutch league becomes more competitive, people will want to stay. Why would they? How would they help? Why would they help? Like, well, I do? don't know. Even keeping talents within the league, or maybe making it more attractive. Or there was oh, far, there was the final, they, final they, did it? They can't I'm do sure it's final. And they're not going to do PSV or final, no. final any favors. Absolutely yeah. not. No, no. no, no. no. As in the, the rest of the league because right. it's so poor. Yeah, but it's yeah. not that Ajax dominated the league. Did Correct. It? Also, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that is very true. They were crazy good in the in the in the Champions League, but I really wonder how they'd ever keep a player. But it's also not just Ajax who have these talented players. A lot of these other clubs do, and it's just unfortunately this the status of the of the Eredivisie now is they are um, you know a development league. Yeah. Are there any players that you guys think will up to like let's say big five mm. or six that stay at Ajax? I mean Van der Beek said that he's yeah, can um, he'd be probably the most likely to be honest. Uh, David Ziyech, Neves might stay. Ziyech, I think will go. Um, yeah. yeah, he's fantastic. He's twenty six already, yeah, so he's, he's at a point where he... I think Tadic, yeah. will, Tadic will probably stay yeah. um, because he's had his time overseas yeah. already, yeah, hadn't worked out. As well. yeah, and he's a big hero there, loves it. Why yeah. would he go anywhere? But a few of the other guys. Would I, I feel like Van der Beek will stay until he's top of the class. Yeah. yeah. Right now, it's like he's number three for me. If you know you're going to be fifth draft. Yeah. You're not going to do it. You're going to wait until you're guaranteed first yeah. pick yeah. Yeah. instead of instead of being somewhere I would else. Go if I would be fifth pick. I would yeah. go fifth round. That's a different story. Yeah. Yeah. This whole draft system <laughs> for <laughs> European football would be mind blowing <laughs> and absolutely impossible. Yeah. 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 Right. We're going to move on to the last one now. The last league, Premier League. Oh. We've already <laughs> spoken a bit about Liverpool. Yeah. In the Champions League, how does anyone break the top six? I feel like it was a really good season in terms of the title race. But that kind of took away from the fact that nobody wanted fourth and that no one was close to breaking top six. Boah. I mean, it's a that's a hard question, isn't yeah. it? Because as you said, it really the quality after third just dropped away yeah. completely. It was shocking. Um, I think there's an opportunity there for <laughs> the Evertons of the world to yeah. try and actually creep into that six because if if United can't sort their shit out, you know they're going to be in yeah. trouble. Yeah. Arsenal and Chelsea had their moments this season when they were both good and also quite awful. So you know, if they don't improve, then they'll lose touch with that top three, in my opinion, not the other way around. Yeah. And I think that will then bring the pack up, not necessarily the pack further away. I can't see Chelsea attack. Like, I, Chelsea, kind of the same like Atleti for me. I, I don't have a good feeling for the, for the yeah. next season for Chelsea. The transfer ban, it's, gonna, it's a killer. Yeah. It's a killer. It's an absolute yeah. killer. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when you look at the team, we're like, yeah, yeah. yeah. it's a good team, but yeah. it's not a brilliant team. Yeah. I, I feel like we're just going to be waiting for the perfect storm, like Leicester. Yeah, yeah. Everyone doing badly, one team doing good. It's exactly what Dortmund needs in the Bundesliga. Yeah. yeah. I feel like that's what every team needs. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But unfortunately, I think with City and now with Liverpool in fantastic shape, boy, I don't think we're going to see that, uh, that come, you know, that unlikely underdog. Those, those top two again. are going to. Club already threatening the league again, saying, yeah, Pep and I just talked on the phone. The minute after the final, you saw it, right? Like minutes after the final, on the press crying. conference, on the press conference <laughs> he said, "Yeah, I already talked to Pep Guardiola. We promised that we're going to push each, we got to kick each other's butt next season." Yeah. So they already like promised, promised each other to give them like just run for the league. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Probably didn't call the other, you know, 21 coaches or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Sure yeah. Just keep us pushing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't call them to see how they are. Yeah. I'm going to tip Leicester though. Leicester to break the again. top six. Oh, okay. I thought you meant the. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, the young players they've got, and I know some of them might be sold, and Brendan Rodgers. Yeah, it's a They're my tip to breaking yeah. top You're six. You're a big fan of Brendan Rodgers, right? I, I just think he's got really good sort of knowledge and mad man management skills, and you're seeing it's becoming more and more of a team um, thing, and you're seeing more and more, especially with Jose Mourinho, mm -hmm. assembling big players isn't always the way it goes. Especially no. at likes of Manchester United. It's only half the battle. Yeah. And Klopp yeah. and Guardiola are notorious for having an incredibly tight-knit team. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, if, and Pochettino as well, and if Rodgers can do something like that, let's face it, Chelsea relied on one big player this season. Yes, yeah. and he's gone. 
And he's leaving. Yeah. So I feel like someone who can bring a good team through like that. Yeah. Leicester are my tip to break top six. I couldn't point my finger on a team and say that's going to be a team. I can't. Uh, yeah. Oh. You can, I think there's, as I said, there's Everton, there's yeah. Watford who, you know, yeah, true. Had, had a nice season. Wolves as well. You know, but these guys run in like, well, one season they're hot, next season they yeah. could be in relegation trouble. I like, yeah, yeah, I like yeah. Everton's court. I like the yeah. core of the team that, that looks good. But again, probably underperform with the money that they've spent over yeah. the last few yeah. seasons as yeah. well. So, oh, actually, yeah. 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 Talk about West Ham I like that as well. Big time, yeah. They spent yeah. so much money yeah. are absolutely dreadful. Yeah. That's what happens with Mark Noble still the captain. Yeah. I'd rather Mark Noble than Samir Nazari again. I saw he was actually released. Yes. I saw. Yeah. How, yeah, how, did, he, how did he do? He played he, he played six games in all competitions and got injured. Samir yeah, Nazri. Yeah. He assisted in his second game though, right? He's out of there, man. <laughs> he's, he's clean out. Right, we'll call it quits on the leagues just there. But a few last questions, we're all going to put our, our answers in the hat. So, the player of the season. Ooh. I know this is really broad because we're talking about European football, but player of the season. Oh man, I'm going to go with all the Liverpool guys now, I think. Because I'm going to take Roger van Dijk here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's, yeah. A, it's a fantastic call. This, yeah. this moment when Son, this when Son <laughs> went past him in the Champions League final, and the German commentator was like, finally someone did it! You dribbled <laughs> past him! I was him. thinking. And then, and then he got him anyway. Then, oh, yeah. <laughs> I, honestly, I was even, even, I know Son's quick, I was even impressed by that. I was yeah. like, wow, he really is fast. Yeah. He just went it's for it. It's the furthest anyone got. Yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. And, but yeah. like turned around and got yeah. yeah. it's, it's incredible. He it's like 80% buffering and then crashed. Yeah. I think I'll still take Messi just to mix it up yeah. a little bit. I think yeah. uh, still an, a fantastic yeah, uh, season. That's true. Saved his team a couple of times. That free kick, of course. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good enough for anything. Yeah, it's good yeah. enough for most. Yeah, yeah. Fair call, fair call. Messi. Okay, I'm just going to switch up and go with Raheem Sterling. Woo! Just because I feel like City have completely dominated, apart from the obviously Champions League, and he has been incredible going from strength to strength. It, look, it was between him and Van Dijk for the PFA Player of the Year. Yeah, but Van Dijk. Van Dijk won it, but they could have easily been Sterling. So yeah. you're going to take yeah. Raheem Sterling over Messi. I'm just going to put those two there. Oh, okay, in, yeah. in terms of the player of the year. That's what we're doing, that was a question. Yeah, true, yeah. yeah, but I, yeah, but Sterling's won a lot more than Messi this year. Okay, fair enough. So, we can argue about this all day. This is going to set a comment section on fire, because yeah, we want to know this one. We want to know your guys' thoughts in the comments to that and a few more. Yeah. yeah. Team of the season. I'm going with Frankfurt, I don't want to talk about it, leave me alone. I'm going with Antwerp Frankfurt, we had a great yeah. run, great season. Yeah. Uh, Liverpool for me. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, it's, it's easy, of course, they won the final, yeah. but I also love the way they went about it. They almost could have done a fantastic double. Yeah. Liverpool were fantastic. I, I'm going to go with Liverpool yeah. as well. Yeah. Deserved it. Yeah. The, second the only one. reason, because I know the next question, I don't want to have Liverpool three times. That's uh, yeah. <laughs> For the manager of the season. Yeah, it has to be club now. He did it. Third try in the Champions League final, he finally uh, won it. Are you going to try and be diff difficult here? I he, mean, you... He had 97 points The in thing the is, Premier you can League. agree with him for all of those reasons, yeah, but then also Guardiola went one better. Well, in the league, yeah, but did Guardiola win the Champions League? Ever since he left Barcelona? No, Barca? but like, did Klopp win any of the four other trophies that Guardiola won? I mean, he never coached in La Liga, so that's going to be difficult. I know no, you were talking this about this season. <laughs> I'm taking Klopp. I can't, I can't disagree, I just want to make it a bit more interesting. Yeah? I don't know, I mean, look. I'm gonna go Klopp too, so. I mean, yeah. you can make it a three for three. I mean, it's your decision, just make the right one. The right call. I'm just gonna go completely. Eric Tenak. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, yes. Completely left field. Semi-finals Champions League, the domestic double with a, a considerably smaller budget and lesser team. Fair enough. Yeah. Ten Hag, unbelievable. Finally, because we love talking trash, especially you, flop of the season. Oh, you obviously love talking shit. Okay, we can go for team a player, player or a team, whatever, or a manager, whoever you want. If you want to mention West Ham, uh, it has to be Real Madrid for me. Yeah, because honestly, the, the way they finished, uh, they finished off the, the season it was oh, they God, completely yeah. pulled the plug. No. It was like the Real that dominated Europe for years compared to this year's Real Madrid. There mm. was a difference, like night and day. I, I was shocked watching Real yeah. uh, this year more than once. So I'm going with Real Madrid. German side would be uh, Schalke 04. As the vice champion, yeah, being nearly relegated. Yeah. Yeah. And Stuttgart losing the first ever playoffs, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, that's not the first ever, not the first, not ever, first ever, ever, in a yeah. long time. Yeah. 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 Uh, the flop of the year would have to be Man United for me. Oh. I mean, the, yeah. uh, the expectations for a fresh new season lasted about 10 minutes. Yeah. And then finally they got a, a ray of 
hope and sunshine with Solskjaer coming. Yeah. We spoke about this before. They signed him on a long-term deal. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Now, he just stopped working. They really like, oh, did. Right. I, I yeah. don't know what happened there. the shoes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I really don't know what happened. And they're at the crossroads again. For the, it feels like the fourth season in a yeah. row where they have to spend money and the squad's not good enough. And what have they been doing the last yeah. four seasons? You know, Just the fuck it up concept. They have not yeah. built no. at all. No, no. no. And I, so I would say that they are, have been a big disappointment with the amount of money they spend, yeah. the ambitions they have, the hopes of the fans, and the flirtation with a lot more than what they're putting yeah. up. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to agree. Yeah. United, especially Lukaku and Pogba. Yeah. So much more respect from them. Yeah. Hurts me. Lukaku always hurts me because I was on record one and a half years ago saying that Lukaku is the best Belgian player in the Premier League. <laughs> 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 to be fair though, even after Tony those Arnold years. Better, yeah. <laughs> I can name, oh, God, I can name six well. more. You're an idiot. Yeah. I can name six <laughs> better. Yeah. He's oh, not even God. the best one in Manchester. <laughs> Dembele is better and he's not even there anymore. Yeah. 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 He's still better in the Chinese league. Yeah. Oh, Leave God, me alone. where did it all okay. go wrong for Lukaku? Yeah. You, you and him just both yeah. know we've got <laughs> into that one. Okay. Ever since I said it, we're done. Do we go for the best league. signing of the season finally? Enough trash talking, we'll finish on something nice. Oh. Best signing of the season? You go first because I got We spoke about, about this halfway through and I remember we both agreed on Witzel yeah, who, halfway through the season. Uh, yeah. was a bit of a, that was a bit of a kiss of death because yeah. he wasn't fantastic <laughs> yeah, after yeah, that. Yeah. I think he ran out of a, a bit of legs. Um, yeah, I need to think about it too. Who's yours? Um, as much as... He's <laughs> not going to be a Tottenham player. Yeah, it's definitely not a Tottenham <laughs> player. Um, I'm going to have to go with Alisson. The reason why is because as well as him just being a great keeper and helping, is that it was such a smart move. Liverpool went, our keeper did terrible in the Champions League final. Mm. Here's a better one. Mm. Here's 70 million. And, and one point, year though. later, yeah. he saved them in the final, Alisson. The 70 million had a point for me though. There is, if you say pound by pound, uh, like pound for pound, yeah. 70 million to what he brought to the team. Yes, he made them better. Yes, they won the Champions yeah. League. It was all great. But there probably was a signing that has had a comparable impact yeah. for less money. Not that I could name one right now, but <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you were going somewhere with that. <laughs> uh, no, I'm just saying it can't be Alisson. Ed really? McCambridge uh, did the same thing last in last week's video. Um, he said he's the best transfer of the week and he's the of the year. I don't know. I just think for the direct, you can literally trace the direct impact of Carrius signing Alisson yeah. one year later, Champions League final. Mm. Yeah. There's, there's, uh, there's some other tough ones out there. I'm going to go for a bit of a loophole, and yeah. you're going to hate me for this. Um, and it is a, it's a grey area, but I'm going to go for Luka Jovic, because technically, of course, he was already at Frankfurt on loan at the yeah. start of the season. Then they actually signed him in, when was it, February? Yeah, no, actually, the boy, no, no, way later. Way yeah. later. It's, like, it's like eight weeks ago. For the pre-agreed mm -hmm. 8 million, pair, 8 million euros mm -hmm. that I already agreed with. Yeah. And then two weeks later, sold him for 65. It's a good deal. Genius. Genius. Business, <laughs> yeah. smart good financially. That is how you get, yeah. that's, that's an exit, you know, that's an exit. Pretty good. What do you Agreed. got, mate? No, I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jovic is good, I've got taking Jovic, Luca. That's, that's it for me. <laughs> really, you, just, you, you can't think of anyone, so you're just gonna go along. I like it, I like that, it's, it's a good point. Yeah, no, you just, it's a very you said, good point. It's financially a very good yeah. point, and signing a player for eight, mi uh, eight million yeah. euros, that scores, that's 21 years old, scores 17 in the Bundesliga, yeah. is behind Giroud, top scorer in, in the Europa League, carries oh. Frankfurt to the Europa League semi-finals. Yeah. Fair call. You just watched his highlights early and yeah, no, yeah. League, I, I, especially I in the Europa League. I can't disagree with that. I was thinking someone who had a direct impact from signing last summer. He but. knocked out Inter. It was only on him that Frankfurt uh, went through there. He scored With both against answer. Chelsea. No? Okay, well, I'm sticking with Alisson. But you guys could obviously let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. That's it for our season review. Club football's over. We're going to have to wait a few months, but international football. Uh, Yay! Don't Yay. mean transfers are much more interesting, so we'll be yes. talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> Love Away from the football pitch, of yeah. course. So many transfers coming up. Let us know all your thoughts down below and all of the questions that we've just talked about. Thanks to Paddy and Nico for joining me. But we will see you guys again next time.